Okay, let's go over once complement and tooth complement real quick. So in once complement, you simply invert all binary bits. So 1 becomes 0 and 0 becomes 1. In order to find tooth complement, first you do once complement, then just add 1 to it. So let's say if you have a decimal number 7 with base 10, its binary is 0, 1, 1, 1. But how would you represent a negative 7 in binary? So first what you do is find 1's complement. So 0 becomes 1, 1 becomes 0, 1 becomes 0, 1 becomes 0. Now that you have 1's complement, you simply add 1 to find 2's complement. So this becomes 1, 0, 0, 1. So essentially this is the representation of negative 7 in binary. So as you can see, 2's complement is used to represent negative numbers.